Paris, thank you. Commercial real estate sales see a split in Chicago. This as another mag mile building goes up for sale and local computer reseller CDW is finalizing the largest acquisition in the company's history. Here to go behind the headlines is Crane Chicago business reporter Danny Ecker. Danny, welcome back. So overall, local commercial property sales in Chicago are doing well, but deal making is far behind the nation this year. So what is driving the local sales up and what's the cause behind the split? Yes, yeah, sales here were up about 7% year over year through August, and nationally it was 58%. And part of the reason is that big cities have been a little slower to recover from the pandemic, and it also likely has something to do with the fact that Cook County Assessor Fritz Kage is uh, reassessing downtown properties for the first time. So there's a lot of property tax uncertainty here right now as well. Um, the bulk of the sales we have seen have been from areas that have been generally safer bets in commercial real estate, which are warehouses given there's so much demand uh, for places to store and distribute goods that are bought online as well as apartments because demand for apartments both downtown and in the suburbs has come back already to pre-pandemic levels so that's where a lot of the money has been flowing at a time when offices and hotels and shopping centers are uh, facing a much more blurry future and so speaking of commercial property sales another mag mile building is up for sale which one is it and what is going to be the impact to chicago's central shopping district yeah it's the neiman marcus department store uh they're at uh, michigan and superior it's actually one of the largest and oldest tenants today on the mag mile it's been there since 1983. uh this is going to be a, a really interesting test of investor appetite for property right in the heart of the mag mile i mean We've seen some uh, really prominent departures from that corridor during the pandemic. Macy's closing at Water Tower Place and Uniqlo and Gap and the Disney Store. Uh, there are some big questions about what the future of this, uh, of this really high profile portion of the city is gonna look like coming out of the pandemic. And we're gonna see here who wants to bet on that future and at what price. So uh, lastly, Lincolnshire-based CDW has a deal to buy serious computer solutions. What is the significance of this deal? Right, CDW, uh, they've been around since 1984. This is the largest acquisition in its history. Um, it's a $2.5 billion deal. Sirius is based in Texas. Companies hire it to um, handle their IT infrastructure, things like cybersecurity and data management. Uh, CDW does that as well, of course, just at a somewhat larger scale. So this is going to create a, a behemoth of that space. And CDW um, already has over 10,000 employees. Sirius has another 2,600. We don't really know yet whether that's going to mean job growth here in Illinois, but we'll see. Okay. Something to keep an eye on for you for sure. Danny Ecker, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Brandis.